Let's change the, the parchment mappings so that our parameters are mapped. Let's see how to do that. All right, we found us back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding the parchment mappings to our project. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process, and I will link two things in the description below. Number one is the librarian GitHub repository right here, where we can basically take a look at the Forge Gradle setup, and everything here is explained basically how you should do it. And then I'm also going to link the getting started, where you can find the version of parchment that we're going to use basically. Of course, we need 118x, and currently the version is from the 19th of December. So we're basically going to copy over these few things right here and I will actually do this the following way. So I'm going to open my build.gradle file and I have everything that I need open on the other monitor. So you can see basically pasting this in below the Minecraft net right here. Then we have the librarian class path. Very important also pasting it directly below this. What's very important this plugin, the apply plugin has to be exactly under net Minecraft Forge Gradle. You can't put it like under here. That does not work. It has to be right here. Very important. Now, after that is done, we also need the mappings. So this is right here. So there you go. So once again, all of this is basically available right here. This is the first thing that I've pasted. The second thing I pasted, third thing that I pasted, and then fourth thing I pasted. Now, in this case, I've of course changed the version because we're using exactly this version right here. So this would then be 2021. 12, 19, 1, 18, 1. And with all of those changes, I can now press the load gradle changes button and then just let this run through. Now this might take, you know, a good minute or two once again as it's downloading things. So be patient and just let this run through. Even if there are some errors, some red stuff in there, let's just keep this run through. And if you get a build successful at the end, all should be fine. There you go, build successful actually quite fast. I've downloaded something like this, of course, in the past before. So for me, it might have been a little bit quicker than it might be for you, but no worries at all. Like I said, just be patient, let this run through. And if you get a build successful, then everything should be fine. And then we can basically proceed with the coming tutorials. It's not actually the most important thing to change this. This really only adds parameter, was well, basically parameter names and mod parameters to some of the methods. Now, this is not the biggest priority. However, it is really still nice to use. So I just definitely recommend actually adding the parchment mappings into your project as well. But that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah. 